Hey what's up YouTube, quick video to showcase a tiny project I released on my Patreon as a tier 2 reward that contains tools to build catenary curves. This is a very useful and optimized way to build realistic looking hanging ropes and cables. I went a bit overboard and added those fantasy looking glowing lanterns and a shader driven swing effect just for fun. So first of all I made a blueprint function library that offers two public functions. Both are pretty straightforward, one is to get a list of points on a catenary curve from a start to end point in world space, the other one is to get a single point. Then I made a first blueprint that samples a catenary curve to generate a rope using a procedural mesh component, it only uses a construction script right, the swing animation is entirely shader driven. That blueprint has a child blueprint used to spawn meshes using an instant static mesh component. So you can move the actor around and then move that little widget to control where the rope ends. The blueprint has a ton of parameters as you can see, lanterns count, align to rope will make the lanterns align to the slope of the catenary curve. You can set your own mesh and select which material to use. Select if you want to add lanterns at the start and end points, like so. You have a bunch of offset parameters like start and end points. Those are normalized, so 0.5 is right in the middle. Some randomness and a world offset in case you need to shift your mesh's location for any reason. Here we have some controls to rotate the meshes and add some randomness as well. Same for scale, how much they swing back and forth in degrees. Global offset is how much the swing is offset in time compared to the rope swing. So if I put zero, you can see that the lanterns are in sync with the rope. It doesn't look great obviously and that's why this parameter is quite handy. Then there's a control to offset the swing based on the length of the mesh. That length value is encoded in UVs so that may not work out of the box with your own mesh. But you may use the same technique that I use for the lantern. It's pretty straightforward. Use your favorite 3D software to do a UV projection from the side and use the Y axis to control how offset in time the swing animation should be. Here I obviously want both the ring and the glowing ball to remain rigid and swing like it's one solid piece. So I collapse those vertices so all these have the same value in Y and whatever time offset is applied will be the same. Anyway, moving on, then we have some random offset per instance. Billionaire mask, first let's set that to 0 and then that to 1. You have to imagine a black and white gradient along the rope, black here, white right in the middle and back to black here. And that's used to control how much swing to apply to the lanterns. The more you increase this value, the wider that white part in the middle expands and so lanterns at the edges start swinging more and more again. And then you can shift that whole value with an offset. So obviously if I set this to 1, the billionaire mask will no longer have any effect because the swing amount will be maxed at 1 everywhere along the rope, if that makes sense. Here we have some settings to change the glow, like the color, the amount of glow to apply to the rope, see that fake lighting here. Glow fall off for the fake lighting and that's built procedurally in the shader regardless of the amount of lanterns, right? 1, 2, 3 and so on. It has a limitation though, the rope shader isn't aware of the random offset you may add to each lantern's position, so the fake lighting might not match the lantern's randomized position. Lantern GI, mm, I basically baked the bounce lighting from that glowing ball into a texture and that controls how much of that baked lighting to use. Anchor point is that widget's location in local space, rope stiffness, start and end offset, it may be in world space and that's in case you want to add anchor meshes like I did here. You may need to control where the rope actually starts and that may need to be somewhat length independent and that's what the world unit's conversion is for. It's not perfect but that should be okay for most cases. Then you have some control over the rope mesh itself, like length, width and the radius, it's pretty much self-explanatory. The material for the rope, you may add some fake ambient occlusion where lanterns are hanging 
not sure if that's visible in the video, but you can basically darken that little bit of space here. And same for the endpoints here. The swing speed and amount in degrees, you may need to further tweak the lantern swing time offset to make it look good. And then some controls to add some meshes at the start and end points. So yeah, pretty cool. I might add some features to this. You can actually do ropes and cables with this algorithm, but also 2D surfaces like drapes and all, so we'll see. For now, that's pretty much it. Files are available as a tier 2 reward on my Patreon. Link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and see ya!